Happy Friday, fam. Um, I'm pumped to be on here with you this Friday morning, and I hope that you check in every single Friday morning and get some sales tips going into the weekend to get your mind right, to get your money right, to go and dominate the weekend. You guys are in a great position right now. You've chosen to go out for summer, to do something hard, to challenge yourself, to be bold, and there's a big reward waiting for you in 18 weeks. Obviously, you're gonna make great money every week, but there's a, a big reward starting and finishing something and seeing it be through the end and absolutely dominating the summer. So I'm pumped for you guys. I wanna make this road as easy as possible by giving you advice and giving you sales tools that will help you, especially on Fridays and Saturdays, to get ready to dominate and win the week, to finish strong. And so, thanks for tuning in right now. Let's tune in every single Friday, I'll release this. But today, the title, the subject will be Rookies versus Reps. Obviously, if you're brand new to door-to-door -door sales, you've gotten out there with the highest of hopes and expectations, there's a difference between the rookies and the vets right now. Rookies, you understand that there's a learning curve and you understand that you're behind on this learning curve compared to what the vets are doing in your office. We have some veteran leaders that have been doing this for 10 years and they are absolutely slaying it. They're dominating right now. And all you can do as a rookie is look at them and envy them and you look forward to the day that you are outselling and outproducing these veterans. And that day will come. So I'm gonna give advice to some of my rookies and to some of my veterans out there that will help you on the doors, dominate and improve and increase your earnings through door-to-door -door sales. Right now, rookies, you have to understand that you're going through a learning curve and that a learning curve will eventually end. By July, after you've been doing this for a month or time, all gloves are off, it's you versus the vets now. Your knowledge is about the same as theirs you're just a little bit behind on experience, but we will see rookies out producing vets by July. Wait and see. So the first tips I'm gonna give are four tips. Number one, I can teach every single one of you how to sell at a high level. Your managers can teach you how to sell at a high level and work with customers at a very high level. What we can't teach is work ethic. You have to work all the hours. We're asking you to put on a golf polo, golf shorts, and go out to talk to real life people, talk to the consumer for seven hours in a row, from two o'clock to nine o'clock. That's not that difficult, guys, to be disciplined enough to work all the hours. You can't see what the result of this process is if you don't respect the process, if you don't actually see the process all the way through how, you're, how it's supposed to be done. And so make sure you're working all the hours, 100% mentally, and focus on what you're doing and the results that you're getting. Focus in 100% of the time. Tip number two, you have to fuel the mind morning and night. This is the biggest secret in sales. You will see rookies passing up veterans on the leaderboard here in a couple months because they are the ones in good habits. They're reading in the morning, they're listening to the podcasts at night, about sales and the influence of sales and the psychology of sales, self-help books, whatever it is, if you are fueling the mind, you are sharpening the saw and it will show up in the playing field. It'll show up with your customers. And so if you're a veteran that's been here for five years and 10 years, you're giving the rookies all this knowledge that you've learned, congratulations. They're picking that up really quick because you've learned it. But those rookies are doing one thing that you're not doing. They're reading sales books, they're hungry, they're eager to improve, and it will show up on the playing field. And we are seeing it every year when new guys come in and they're hungrier and more eager, they're taking the knowledge that we've learned in the door-to-door -door industry for a decade, and then they're fueling that fire by reading sales books every day and fueling the mind and sharpening the saw, and it shows up on the playing field. So if you're a veteran and you're getting passed up by some of these young fellas, I challenge you to pick up another sales book, continue reading, continue improving and putting fuel on that fire. And let's see our veterans go from 200 account reps to 300 account reps. Let's see those vets going from 100 accounts to 200 accounts, whatever it is, I wanna see you improving as well as those rookies around you. Number three, rookies, you have to enjoy and respect the process. Obviously there's a learning curve to this. It's sales, it's commissions. 
There's a step and a process that you have to learn from A to Z and you have to respect it because all hard things have a great reward. That's why they're hard to do. And if you don't respect it and you get frustrated, that's not helping you. So respect the process, enjoy the process, understand that you only have to learn to ride a bike one time and then the training wheels come off. So while you're going through this the next 30 days, 60 days, even your first four months, you're gonna be learning how to improve as a sales rep. Enjoy the process, take notes, make some mental notes, grow mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually while you're going through this process and understand that all good things are hard. That's why we're doing this. Tip number four, study those that are doing this at the highest level. If you're not at the highest level right now, find the rookie that is doing this at the high, highest level and go hear what he's saying, go hear what he's doing, record it, you know, while you're in your apartments, wherever it is in the meetings. Um, if you're a veteran and you're not at the highest level in your office, go find the vets that are in the highest, doing the highest and the most production in your office, go record them. Get on the phone with some of these other guys and record their, their conversations. Nothing hit me harder than when Jason Newby uh, he's a 300 account sales rep said that he was going and continuing his education by paying for psychology lessons and going to sell seminars. He was the number one rep in the company and he was still investing in becoming a better sales rep. And so make sure you are continuing to fight and gather that there is a next level above you. And there always will be a next level above you. Now for my sales tip for the day, this is going to help you get more sales. It's going to make you some money. Ready? People buy from people that they like and they trust. We forget how simple that is when we get out there and we get with the customer. We're so urgent to get out a price and a quote and we forget to build trust and to slow down the sell a little bit and get to know our customers and let them get to know us. And so today, I want you to remember that people buy from people that they like and they trust. Slow down the sell. As soon as I sit at the customer's table, I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna relax and I'm gonna take this opportunity to get to know my customer um, and let them get to know me. I'll start off with some questions like, where are you from originally? When did you move here? What do you do for work? You know, and try to find some common grounds on where they're from, what they do, what they like, what their interests are. I'll look around their house and see what their interests are. They'll advertise it with their pictures on the wall and the things that they're into and I'm gonna talk about those things. I'm gonna use that as an opportunity to let them into my life as well and show them pictures of my family, show them pictures of me doing things outside of sales, tell them where I went to school, tell them that you're currently going to school if you're a student, you know, show them you have kids, whatever it is. You need your customer for, for a brief moment to look at you and say, I like this guy, I trust him, he's in my house right now, I'm obviously interested in what he's doing I'll buy from him if the price is right. They're thinking this right now. We haven't even given them the quote and they're honestly thinking this. And you have to understand, I have to earn that right. I have to earn that trust by taking a moment of talking to my customer and building a relationship of trust. Sales tip number two for this Friday. You guys get a bonus one. I wanna help you guys with, with the sales process right now. So. When I sit down with my customer, after I build trust with my customer, um, I want them to understand what my purpose is before I begin my presentation. So first thing I say when I sit down is, all right, Mr. Customer, obviously we're sitting down at your table. My job's really easy. I'm gonna be very transparent. My job is to get you the best possible deal so you don't feel like I'm holding on to something or, or anything else. I'm gonna give you the very best deal I can possibly so that this is easily a no brainer for you guys at the end of this presentation. And so that you feel confident referring me to your friends and your family so that I can earn their business too. So I'm gonna give you the absolute best deal possible uh, so I can make your, so I can earn your business. You ready to see what it is? All right, we call this the Adam Nelson special. Let's see it. Number one is I'm gonna take care of this activation fee and this installation fee. We're gonna do everything for $0 up front. Are you okay with $0 up front, Mr. Customer? Yes, awesome. I didn't think you, you would argue that one. Number two, we have this doorbell camera everybody wants. I'm gonna waive all costs on this doorbell camera. I'm gonna give you a free doorbell camera. You okay with $0 for a doorbell camera? Yes, awesome. 
That's Adam Nelson special. Now let's talk about basic security. Let's talk about home automation, smart home. We're going to add on those. And then at the very end, if you're in a solar market, we're going to attach some solar. So, um, obviously guys, it's important to state your purpose at the very beginning of the sale so that your customer can look at you and understand you and your purpose and how this is, is going to flow. They've never sat at the table with a door to door sales guy before. They don't know what to expect. So put all your cards out on the table, let them know, look, my job's really simple. It's to get you the best deal possible. I knocked on your door, no BS. I wanna earn your business and then I wanna earn referrals. I wanna earn referrals of your friends and your family. So I'm gonna give you the best deal possible. That way they don't think that you're holding onto a card. They don't think that you're, um, they need to fight you at the end of the sale. Let them know that we're, we're putting all our cards on the table and you can try, trust me to move forward with this deal if the numbers make sense. All right, for Big Friday, Monster Saturday, we're running the same incentive. This was a big one last week. Um, rookies, you gotta sell four between Friday and Saturday. Vets, you have to sell five. Friday and Saturday, you get a jersey of the player and team of your choice in lieu of the NBA and uh, the playoffs right now. Go Jazz, go Mavs. There's a conflict of interest there, but uh, yes. Go in your jersey this weekend, throw down Friday, wake up, hit the doors by 10 a.m. on Saturday. Let's go throw down on Saturday. Make sure you're doing four as a rookie, five as a vet to earn your jersey. And then shoot me a text, let me know you earned it so I can order your jersey and send it out to you. Let's kill it.